I'm here to share a silly story with you today. It is called The Three Little Super Pigs by Claire Evans. Now we all know the story of the three little pigs, but these are the three super pigs and it's kind of what happened after the story when they um, captured the big bad wolf in The Three Little Pigs. So let's read about The Three Little Super Pigs by Claire Evans. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf in a house made of bricks. The hungry wolf fell down the little pig's chimney into a big pot of boiling water. He huffed and he puffed, but it was no use. I'll get you one day, you little pigs, the angry wolf shouted as he carted, was carted off to prison. With smiles on their snouts, the three little pigs waved goodbye to the big bad wolf. <clears throat> the citizens of Fairyland were very happy that the Big Bad Wolf had been defeated. The little pigs were awarded special superhero status and became known as the Three Little Super Pigs. Working together, they all rebuilt the whole town out of bricks to keep everyone safe. We love you, Super Pigs! From that moment on, the Super Pigs spent their days being heroes, enjoying their newfound fame, and when they weren't gre greeting their fans, they were fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. Meanwhile, deep inside Happily Ever After Prison, the very angry Big Bad Wolf was hungrily plotting his revenge. The residents of Fairyland were scared and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't. Okay. A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around Fairyland. This was very strange. Late one night, they received some shocking news. The big bad wolf has escaped. And there are some of the missing bricks. And here's where they get their shocking news. Now we'll go to this page. The residents of Fairyland were scared and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, the three pigs boasted, we'll find that wolf and make him pay. The three little pigs hunt the three little super pigs hunted high and low, far and wide and long and hard, but the big bad wolf was nowhere to be seen. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Some people claimed they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. So the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in Fairyland. But the wolf was a master of disguise and they could not spot him. Every day, more and more bricks disappeared from Fairyland. As night fell, the whole town locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. They hoped the super pigs would find the wolf soon. He was up to something big and bad. But back at home, the first super pig was relaxing when he sensed something strange. Suddenly, a dark shadow fell upon the room. The big bad wolf cried the super pig. I don't need to huff and I don't need to puff and I don't need to blow your house in because I'm already inside, replied the pointy-eared wolf. The pig ran through the front door but was met with a terrible surprise. The cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the super pig's houses Using the stolen bricks from Fairyland, the super pig was trapped. Attempting to flee, the super pig tried to climb the brick wall using a ladder from the side of his house, but it was too short. Gotcha, sneered the wolf as he captured the helpless pig. And here are the houses surrounded by the light, or I mean the wall, 
and here is the pig trying to escape, and there the wolf has got him. Unaware of the danger, the second super pig was home polishing his medals when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. The big bad wolf shrieked, super pig, I don't need to huff, and I don't need to puff, and I don't need to blow your house down because I'm already inside, growled the wolf. With a huge scream, the terrified super pig quickly ran outside and into an enormous brick wall. Desperate to escape, the little pig jumped on a nearby trampoline, bouncing as high as he could. But it was no use. Gotcha, boasted the wolf as he carried the pig to his tr in his trusty net. Two down, one to go, laughed the wolf as he prepared his delicious meal. The third super pig had heard all the commotion and he was busy hatching a plan when the big bad wolf suddenly appeared at his window. The super pig grabbed his gear, raced straight out of the front door and ran down the path as quickly as his little legs could carry him. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their tight pastry blankets, but it was not quick enough. Ha ha ha, there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I've built a wall around your houses and now you are trapped inside, laughed the hungry wolf. You're no super pigs, you're my dinner. I don't think so, shouted the third super pig. He whispered to his brothers, ready, set, go. And in a flash, They blasted off high into the night sky. The clever brother had outsmarted the silly wolf again. Using his jetpack invention to save the day, the super pigs had left the big bad wolf trapped in his own self-built brick prison. The angry wolf raised his fists. I'll get you yet, little pigs. In the sky, the three super pigs laughed out loud. You'll never get us, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. And down below, the citizens of Fairyland cheered. Wow, pigs really can fly. And the three little pigs had saved Fairyland from the big bad wolf once again. They truly were superheroes. Hooray for the little super pigs. The end. So that's the end of the uh, Three Little Super Pigs. Or is it? Because it looked like the wolf was hatching up a plan to come after them again.